Hey YouTube, what's going on? What's popping? Um, I'm multitasking right now as I talk to you guys. Um, and I have a question for you guys. Um, you know, the way they make these chargers now, this is not my question, but this is just a random video. Um, the way they make these chargers now, they're like the you like okay you got this and then you got like this piece that can like plug into there the way they make them now is just so I don't care how hot your phone is it's just like they're so flimsy like I mean ugh I hate this charger for this phone USB slash you know one of them thingies but anyway uh, that's not the question that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, don't judge me because I'm drinking my Pepsi. I wanted had a question for you guys. For those of you out there that um are on YouTube, have you ever gotten a reply from someone? A reply from someone that uh. Hold on one second. I told you this is a random video. Let me reply to this text real quick. Re okay. Has someone on YouTube ever sent you a text message that said um, sub for sub or something like that? Like you sub me, I sub you. And there's something that uh, sub for sub dot com. I need to know. Um, anybody out there that knows in YouTube land, if that is actually a legitimate thing, or is that like a key logging type thing, or a hacking type of thing? Somebody out there, let me know. Um, much love from Kentucky. I know. Uh, you know, if you may know, uh, I'm talking about people who frequently vlog. Vlog. Um, cause I get them a lot in my inbox and I don't reply to them. I delete them. I don't even open them. I, I just see sub for sub.com in the header and I just delete it. If that's something that's actually, uh, like a legitimate thing, like, can somebody let me know? Cause I could be missing out on like a lot of subscribers to my channel, to my show, to my experience. And, um, I don't want to be missing out on the opportunity to uh, have a bigger audience. I don't think anybody would want that. Um, so my biggest thing was just not wanting a virus on my on my laptop. Because I don't have a desktop. I have a laptop. I have two. And yeah, just let me know if uh, if that's actually a real thing. A legitimate thing or is it something that you know I should just delete right away as soon as I get um, and if anybody out there if it is a real thing has anybody out there done it and if so let me know because um, I'm, I'm interested in trying to boost my subscribership um, like I said y'all this is just a random ass video um, just getting back in from my grandmother's house. I went over there, like I said in the last video, I sat with her for a couple hours. Love my grandmother to all heaven. She is a blessing. Um, she's 89, so it's always a blessing to be around someone that is that old to, to tell you stories and life lessons and stuff like that. Like we were just laughing a little while ago about a. Um, the fair that they went to, which is going on now, uh, and wow, my grandmother just killed herself laughing about something that had happened on the trip, and it just made my heart feel so good to see my grandmother just laughing, just full of life, and just surrounded by love, so I love my family, I really do, because I'm a family, um, I'm a family oriented kind of guy and you know there are times when my job keeps me away from my family a lot 
and I, you know, I don't like that. Nobody likes that, but, you know, you got to work to keep the lights, keep the internet, keep the car, keep the house, keep the lights on, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, nobody wants to be away from their family or their loved ones, but sometimes we're forced to by no choice of our own. Um, yeah, so, like I said, people, random ass video. So, what went on in your day today? Did you do everything you wanted to do today? Did you accomplish everything you wanted to accomplish today? Um, did you say something positive today to someone else? Remember that? Did you share love with somebody else? You know what I mean? Did you have fun? And I'm just to the point now where life is too short to stress about things, like small things. To me, everything is small. Everything. And what I mean by that is if I'm not dead, then all the other stuff to me is irrelevant. If I'm living, breathing, able to do things on my own, then all those other things that people stress about, bills. and I mean, don't get me wrong. We all stress about stuff like that from time to time, but we shouldn't let it consume us and just, you know, overwhelm us to the point where we just can't function. You know what I mean? So, yeah, random ass motherfucking video. This is right, chill. But, um, yeah, so, I, um... Got some videos to watch here on YouTube for people that I'm subscribed to that have posted some videos that I need to kind of get caught up on. Go back and look at some older ones. Go back and look at some of the older videos that I've done. Have you guys ever done that? Go back and look at your old shit and be like, wow, I've changed since then. Or, you know, oh my God, I wouldn't wear my hair like that no more. Or what was I thinking when I did that? Or you ever, you ever, you ever sat back and looked at your old shit and been like, what the fuck was I thinking? Get it together. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, it's just, wanted to get on here and just talk to you guys. No, about nothing particular. This is just a random heartfelt, heart to heart from me to, to people who watch me, who take the time out of their lives to watch, comment, and continue to want to hear my mess um because i don't know if anybody knows it or not or if you do know it or if you do it you know that getting on camera and giving yourself or doing things on camera is not easy like there are a lot of people on youtube who create accounts just to watch youtube believe it or not there are a lot of people who do that not everybody has the balls or that oomph to get on camera and trust me it's hard it's not as easy as people think it is and you know i can just imagine what the ones that do like tv tv and stuff like that i can just imagine what they feel so you know what that soda is ice cold and i'm trying to get off the of soda but my doctor already told me that I'm kind of addicted to caffeine, kind of, sort of. So he tells me that I have to wean myself off of them. Don't just wake up on a Monday and be like, I ain't drinking sodas no more. He said if I drink five or six a day, cut it down to two or three. You know, gradually ease myself off of it as opposed to just shutting it down because my body's going to crave it. So I'm doing that now. I'm in the process of weaning myself off of Pepsi Cola. You know, as hard as that's going to be because y'all know. That Pepsi goes so good with the nice Jersey Mike subs. Shout out to my people at Jersey, motherfucking Mike's and Raleigh, North Carolina. You guys are the bomb. Y'all hook me up every time I come in there with the extra me, extra, uh, extra, uh, get it, y'all, guys. But yeah, so, you know, check them out. Check them out. Jersey Mike's. JerseyMikes.com. They got this uh, Susan G. Coleman Race for the Cure partnership that they're doing with uh, breast cancer because you know this month is breast cancer awareness month so yeah they're they're doing a real good thing with with uh, breast cancer 
So yeah. So I am hmm wondering to this day, you know, why I'm on YouTube. Like why do I put myself out here on YouTube? Why do I do YouTube? And the reason I know I do YouTube is number one, I tell you guys, it's a vent for myself. It's this is a vent for me. You see what I'm saying? This 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 talking, this entertaining, this laughing, serious moments, fun moments, fucked up moments, all of that vents for me. Um it takes a lot of times YouTube takes me away from my real life and kind of makes this my fake life, if you will. Not fake as in I'm fake, but you know, away from the the, the, the bills and all the shit going on, you know, over there in the real world. But yeah, you, you know what I mean. Please, please, don't judge, please, really. Um, yeah, so I always wonder why I, I continue to do YouTube. Because a lot of the, the, the inbox messages that I get and email messages that I get, you know, a lot of people tell me that my videos affect their lives. And if I can affect someone like positively and, 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 and opens pe open people's eyes to things and make you be like, hmm, I never knew that. Well, hmm, yeah, that's true. Or maybe I need to rethink that. Or if I can possibly, you know, open your mind to new things and, and uplift you and, and make you smile when you watch my videos, then guess what? My job is done. That's why I do YouTube. Because life is too short to be so negative and so down on yourself. That's why I do YouTube, to try to motivate people and uplift people out of whatever it is that they're going through. If you can watch my video and not think about that bill you owe just for however many minutes you're watching my video, then that's what I want. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, that, that that's why I do YouTube, to motivate people, to uplift people, to entertain people, you know what I'm saying, and to connect with people. Because I love YouTube. YouTube is like a second home for me. It's 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 a it's a positive experience. It's you know beneficial to me, it's beneficial to you. Um all the positive people that I've met here on YouTube, all the people that are just fellow vloggers doing their thing on their own channels. You know, it's just so much talent on YouTube, and it's just so much positivity on YouTube. Yeah, a lot of us have gotten caught up in the drama and uh, this and that, but we're adults. We got it together, and we moved on. You see what I'm saying? So, I love everybody on YouTube. I have nothing but love for everybody on YouTube. Everybody that knows me, um, you know... A lot of very popular vloggers here on YouTube um, know who I am. They know of Jersey Raven, and that's what I want. Like, you may not, you know, know me personally, but you know who Jersey Raven is. Anytime I see somebody say, get it together on camera, you know, and I and people have emailed me and told me when they watch other vloggers' videos, anytime they say get it together, the first thing they think about is Jersey Raven. Because get it together kinda is is like my thing. That's kinda like what people know me for. Besides, you know, <laughs> my bomb personality. Boy bye. But, you know, that's what people kind of, how people kind of know. Oh, get it, that's like kind of synonymous with this channel. So, you know, I'm not saying when they say it, they're saying it the way I say it. Because only I can say it that way. But because it's a catchphrase of this show, that's kind of what people think of when they hear somebody say get it together. They think of me. And that's a good thing. So... I'm not going to keep blabbing people. I just wanted to get on here and just talk to you about whatever. Um, Y'all continue to have a good day. And somebody let me know 
if that sub for sub dot com thing is a, a, a virus or a joke or what does it really work does it boost your numbers does it do anything so don't forget you guys you can follow me at twitter.com slash jersey raven you can tout me tout me at tout.com slash jersey raven uh so get at me people you guys can email me j um you no know, jersey raven 15 at gmail.com that's for the swoop down, which happens every Monday. That's the segment of the show again where I do your advice, your comments, your shout outs, your birthdays, all of that stuff. I get get at you with that. So you email me those throughout the week and I get at you. So with that being said, people, I'm going to get out your face because I know you're sick of looking at mine. But anyway, I love you guys. And somebody let me know if that, that sub for sub uh stuff works. I'm interested to know. And as I always say, people, life is too short to be so stressed out over what you cannot do or what you cannot pay or where you cannot live or what you're not driving. You see what I'm saying? What you should be is thankful for what you do have, what you do drive, where you are working. So with that being said, I love you guys. Keep watching. Get it together. Mm-hmm.